what's going on. Quarantine attorney. It's been about two weeks since I've played this, so uh, yeah. I really hope I don't mess up too many things in the trial, but let's let's find out together, so. Oh, here we go. This might be like the trial too. This is only episode two, right? No, this is episode three. So there should only be uh, like two investigation days and two court days. So this could be the final trial, actually. I feel like we have enough evidence to prove who it is, but you know, let's find out. December 3rd, yeah, that's right, it's almost New Year's. Okay. <clears throat> Maya's always first, and her voice is annoying. Good morning, Max. Oh, yeah. Good morning, sweeties. You don't seem like your usual sparkling self today. I'm always like this before I go in front of an audience. I'm working up to it. Teehee. Who's that? Get out of here. No one likes you. Don't get nervous, Maxie. Here, have a glass of milk. That's spoiled. That's poisoned. She's the killer. Regina! Oh, how fabulous! My sweetie pie, my sweetie pie princess! You came to watch my performance today. Of course I did. Mo told me that I should- mm -hmm. Mo told me that I should come and watch this. Mo said that? <gasps> Ooh! Wait, why did I do that? I, I feel like Mo knows who did it, and it's Regina. He wants her here for when we find out it's her and she can get arrested. That's just my guess. Let's find out. I, I love guessing in this game, and then ending up wrong. Sometimes. So, what kind of performance will you put on today? Let me guess. You'll fly at the end? Uh, it's not that kind of show. I isn't that right, my sweeties? Huh? I think my sweetie pie princess doesn't- Yeah, she doesn't seem to realize what's going on, or even where she is, because she's a dummy, and she's the killer. I guarantee you. Hmm. Well, Max, it looks like it's time to raise the curtain. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Today, I'm just a member of the audience. Yeah, right. F fabulous. Enjoy yourself out there. Good luck, Max. You're the best. Regina's different, don't you think, Nick? Top of the morning to ya. Everybody, let's get ready to get stuck in legal limbo. How low can you go? M Mo. Top of the morning to ya, governor. Uh, top of the morning? That's the ticket. Attacking the day starts with energy in the morning. The early bird gets the worm. But then again, worms lack higher brain function. <laughs> Here, Max, I... Oh, you know what? I... Like, having this come up again, I'm, it got me thinking. He does like milk, doesn't he? He did mention that in one of the in one of the previous sections. He has a glass of milk before every performance. You know what? Okay. Oh my. Th thanks. So, how are you today, right? Well, I've got a feeling that today I'm gonna face off against the real culprit. Oh, I hate this. I had a firm belief in who I thought it was, like, at the end of the previous video, like, not 60 seconds ago, and now he's changing my mind again. God dang it, this game, dude. You mean Acro? Huh? You think he did it? Be careful. He's used to putting his life on the line. Literally. He's got guts to spare. If all I've got to worry about is how thin the tightrope is, I'm used to it already. It just means that I won't be able to press him like I can other witnesses. What are you going to do then, Nick? Guess today we'll just have to do without our usual psychological warfare. Today we rely on evidence. It's the only way we'll get past Acro into the truth. You're right, but it's gonna be tough. 
Anyways, I want you to make sure that Regina sees it all today. It's important. Then, she'll finally have to deal with the reality of what happened to her father. Uh, what does that mean? Or maybe she is just in denial. I never thought of that. Maybe we'll get a sprite of her, like, breaking down. You want us to make sure Regina watches? Yes. That's why I brought her here to court today. What's that supposed to mean? She needs to know what, that when people die, they don't just become stars. Okay, if I just keep playing, I'll figure it out. I keep pausing and just making assumptions, and they're all always wrong. I may be an old-fashioned clown, but I don't believe in people becoming stars. See, it's just jokes. Capcom... Like, gets me with jokes. A lot. December 30th, 10am. Franziska, hi. Court is now in session for the trial of Maximilian Galactica. The prosecution is ready, your honor. The defense is ready, your honor. Very well. Miss Von Karma, you may proceed with your case. The prosecution would like to revise its previous theory of events. What's the meaning of this? We have discovered a new witness, or shall I say, a new eyewitness. One that saw Maximilian Galactica fly off from the scene of the crime. Ugh. Akron. Order, order. <clears throat> I had a feeling something like this would come up. Due to this revision, we are now prepared to explain how the defendant flew that night. An explanation the prosecution will present if the need so arises. In fact, my detective stayed up all night creating a mock-up of the scene on my orders. Poor Gumshoe. Again, yeah. Dude, he- I'm- like, he needs justice. Justice for all, including Gumshoe. He needs it. Very well. Please call your witness to the stand. Time to get to work, or shall I say, time to walk the courtroom tightrope. I'm feeling these voices today. Hey. <laughs> Name and occupation. Ken Dingling, but everyone calls me Acro. You know what? Quick side note. I, I started watching Bleach about a month ago. I, I realized I'm doing this dude's voice just like Chad. I, I, like, not on purpose, but well, you know. I'm employed as an acrobat at the Berry Big Circus. Where were you the night of the crime? I was in my room that night. Right. Uh. If you look at that map, you will see the witness's room is near the crime. There we go. I, I realized I was kind of doing her voice a little weird. <laughs> near the crime scene. Oh, see, I start doing these voices and I get gassy. My room is on the third floor. The crime scene is below my window. Hmm. The night of the crime, the witness saw something quite shocking. Would you tell us what you witness? Okay. What, what you witness, or what I witness, yeah. Witness testimony, as usual. It was just after 10 p.m., and I was resting in my bed. Around that time, I heard a large thump noise from outside the window. Then, a few moments later, I saw someone fly right by my window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. So you don't know it was him. Oh my gosh, I hate these testimonies. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. <clears throat> so your testimony can't be accurate. Hmm. This witness's testimony matches up exactly with that of the clock. If that's the case, there is very little the prosecution need add. All that's left is to explain how the defendant disappeared into the sky that night. Hmm. Before we get that far, I'd like to cross-examine the witness. A foolish choice by a foolish fool who wishes to feel the foolish sadness of a sad fool. 
A man must know the proper timing for things, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Just like your old friend, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, did. Phoenix is like, fucking, fuck, say his name. Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with the witness's testimony? In the words of Miss Von Karma, may I quote yesterday's proceedings? There's no way that actually happened. Very well. You may proceed with your cross-examination. Press everything. First we'll save. You know, as usual. Hold it! Hold it. Press. You said that you were resting in bed. One would thus assume that you turned the lights off in your room, correct? That's correct. But there are safety lights around the outside of the lodging house. It's so bright, sometimes it can make it hard to sleep. If that's the case, then wouldn't it be a good idea to close some curtains? <laughs> I never really thought of that. I guess that means I'm off to buy some curtains. <laughs> Sometimes I do make myself useful in these chambers. Ow! The witness will proceed with his testimony. T -t I need to bring my pop filter back. Just kind of hold it in front of my face. Your room is on the third floor, right? Yes. And you said that you were resting in bed. That is correct. But you were still able to hear a sound from outside? I was indeed. Pressing F doesn't seem to get results. Hmm. But maybe something was contradictory in what he said just now. Okay, then let's per like, continue. There's a huge contradiction with that testimony that was just given, huh? Crap, I'm gonna lose health now. Watch. If there's a contradiction, then prove it with evidence. Hmm, she's right. Let's see some evidence. Do you have any evidence to support your claim of contradiction? I don't even remember what he just said, to be honest. Th this? What in the world is this? Oh! You just don't get it, do you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What? Wh what don't I get? You're not giving- you're not going to be able to get through this one with your usual bluff routine. Your client looks to be ready to take off once again. Straight towards a guilty verdict. You were b bluffing I will not forgive any more mockeries made of this court. Whoops. Witness, would you mind repeating your testimony? Certainly. I didn't lose any health, that's good. Started over? Around that time, I heard a large thump and noise from outside the window. But then a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. I only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like, to be honest, when I saw that. I saved, so let me actually... Screw it, dude. Let me just try it. This evidence clearly contradicts that evidence. Oh, exactly. Uh, Alright. Let me just keep pressing. I don't, I don't care what they're saying. Are you sure it was a human being? It could have been a mannequin, or perhaps a large action figure. Yeah? Hmm. <laughs> well, setting aside the possibility of a mannequin, an action figure is plausible. You have no need to mince words with Mr. Phoenix Wright. Testify to the truth and only the truth, just as if we were there with you that night. I believe it was a human. Hmm. Damn. I just strengthened his testimony. I wonder if Acro's statement jives with the facts. There's nothing wrong. Like, what the f- What's the matter? Uh, n n nothing, Your Honor. Until I can find a clear contradiction, I should tread lightly. 
I haven't played this in a while. I hate that. Okay, let me actually press him here, because this is what I tried presenting the evidence on. The light in your room was turned off then, right? That's true. I was going to bed after all. So with the lights off, you were still able to clearly see a human fly by your window. The safety lights lit things up enough for me to see. But honestly, there was only enough light for me to see the silhouette outside my window. This is where the... the bust comes in. Can I present that already? It was the person's back, so I couldn't see the white roses on the front. Did you see any of the other symbols? I clearly saw the silk hat, as well as that cloak wrapped around his body. I'm convinced that the person I saw was Max Galactica. Hmm. The more impressive, the less results I seem to get. But maybe there was something fishy with that last- okay. But I tried presenting evidence already. Let me just try it, there is a contradiction. Okay. There's a huge contradiction with that test. Okay. I feel like, is this a repeat? Then prove it with evidence. Hmm. Let's see some evidence. Yes. This thing. This, the, what in the world is this? Ow. Yeah, okay. I'm happy I'm not losing any health with that. I feel like I should be. She has him start over his testimony. When did you start thinking that what you saw wasn't a dream? Objection! That's not important. Objection! I believe that the prosecution has done a bit of maintenance on the witness's memory, right? Hmm. Just to make sure, let's ask the witness. Oh. Objection. S sustained. That's- that's what I'm s like, just cause you get whipped, you're whipped, Judge. Necro must be lying about what he saw, right? Of course he is. Now the challenge will be to expose his lies in court. Well, put the pedal to the metal, Nick. How about you help out, Maya? Like... It was just after 10pm, I was resting in my bed. Okay, let me look at my evidence again, hold on. Let's review. Okay, so a picture of the crime scene, which is... Yeah. Made to order hat that is a symbol of Max's fabulousness, found at the crime scene. Ooh, if it was found at the crime scene and he saw it when he was taking off. Yeah, okay, hold on. Which, which was it? Where, um. Yeah, it was here where I pressed. Yeah, 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 okay. He, he mentions that he saw the hat, right? Yep. Okay, if the hat was found at the crime scene, then yeah. Okay, maybe there was something- there was a contradiction. Yeah. Okay, I really hope I'm right. That's- let's go! Okay, I'm smart. Big brain, you claim to have seen the exact same thing Mo saw that night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw it on Max's head as he flew by my window. Okay, so that trumps my bust theory. Okay, let's keep going. Let's figure it out. Well, you should have tried looking down out of your window that night. That would have been quite difficult considering the state that I'm in. <laughs> That's not funny. Just looking outside of the window was a tough enough challenge for me. That's a shame, because you would have noticed the silk hat found at the scene. That... that's the Ringmaster's hat, right? What? <laughs> Afraid not. No matter how you look at it, this is Max's silk hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Or are you saying that Max has two silk hats? What doesn't trump my bust theory? Someone could have brought it with and just like left, you know, whatever, whatever. okay, no. This is a handmade, one-of-a-kind model made only for Maximilian Galactica. Which means, Acro, 
that you've been fibbing on the stand. <laughs> That's rude. Order, order. As always, it looks like someone just had to open their mouth before thinking. Are you okay, Nick? Well, I opened my big mouth, and now I have to back it up. How about it, Mr. Wright? What would cause this witness to commit perjury in this court today? Uh... Yo... I kinda wanna click this. Let me just save. Um... Does he have a grudge against Max? He does. He was, like, he was, like, not wanting to talk about him. Right? I'm in the previous video. I can't say this because I have little to no evidence. I might actually. The no. I don't think that comes into play so early, though. Let's, let's just pick this first one. And the music stops, so I assumed it's right. Perhaps it is because Acro has a grudge against the defendant. Which is why he is trying to frame Max. Oh, why me? What did I do? Never get your fat head in the way of a whip bent on finding justice. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I have no interest in your silly little theories. He has a grudge against the defendant, huh? She's never said huh. You wouldn't happen to have proof of that. Oh, right. Oh. Well, um, that's the thing. Mr. Wright, thanks to you, I got my head lashed by Miss Von Karma's whip. I don't like getting hit for nothing, so how about you answer with an explanation? Are you okay, Nick? Well, I opened my big mouth and now I have to back it up. How about it, Mr. Wright? Whoa. Oh, shit. That's it. Let's go. Let's, let's frame him. Your Honor. On this occasion, the defense accuses Acro himself. On this occasion... Uh, accuses Acro? What in the world are you accusing him of? Obviously, we accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. Duh. Well, <laughs> Mr. Wright, are you serious? Deadly serious, Your Honor. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I think your trips to the circus have served you well. You seem to have learned how to try and grab in an audience member's hearts and minds, huh? Ugh. Your Honor, don't allow yourself to be swayed by theatrics. Trying to wow the crowd with smoke and mirrors is the oldest bluff in the book. R really? If you don't believe me, just look at the witness. Birds. Mm. He's calm enough for it to be almost scary. Almost to be scary. Mm. He is staying rather calm and collected. Why is the bird picking at me like that? Mr. Dingling, do you have any response to the defendant's accusation? I don't really need to say a thing, do I? The right to remain silent, am I right? What do you mean? Everyone, take a good look at me. I can't even stand up by myself, let alone leave the lodging house. Th that's true. I understand that Mr. Wright is just trying to help his client. But to do this by accusing me of a murder of all things... True. Just kidding, I don't feel shitty. See, even a silver of even a sliver of common sense makes it clear the accusation is ludicrous. Huh? She's right. Way to pick up on the way to pick on the disabled, you heartless cruel man. Phoenix is a poppy poopy head. See that, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're trying to drum up support from the peanut gallery, that's how you do it. Uh, I think that's enough of this little game. I've got a doctor's note to confirm that Acro is unable to stand under his own power. Maybe the defense is planning on making a claim to counter this as well? I can hear the defense now. Acro had an accomplice. What do you say about this, Mr. Wright? Did Acro have an accomplice? 
Ooh. I guess of course he did. Maybe. Sure. It's impossible for Akro to be the murderer in this case. If that's the case, <laughs> then it's natural for one to consider possible accomplices. Hmm? You don't say. Not good. Not good. This isn't going to end well. Don't tell me you think you're going to get off... Don't tell me you think you're going to get off easy. W what? You must not have heard that sound just now. Maybe it wasn't clear enough. The sound of you falling into your own trap can be hard to notice sometimes. M oh god, I hate this music. Mr. Wright, it seems as if you won't be stopping at Acro, but will be making other accusations. If Acro did not have an accomplice, things are not looking good for you. <sighs> I understand, Your Honor. Gulp. Very well. Let's continue. Who, perchance, would happen to be Acro's accomplice? Uh, ooh. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. Dude, it is either Regina or Mo. I don't think it can be Bat. And I don't think it's Ben either. Uh Dude, I'm going to say it's Mo. Cuz they can both like say the same thing in their alibis that they saw Max float away. I'm just going to say Mo. You Okay, the music didn't stop, so I guess it's not right. Y you don't say. Uh-oh. This is suddenly looking very, very bad. Don't tell me you think you're going to get off that easy. W what? Oh, did you hear that? Hear what? The sound of you getting caught in your own trap. Foundation? Yes, Mr. Wright. Oh, shoot. Oh, dude. Like, I didn't... Wait, why are... Huh? Wait, what? Mr. Wright. Y yes Your Honor? <laughs> this piece of evidence is lacking in persuasive power. You didn't miss that sound, did you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You know, the sound of you receiving a penalty. I'm surprised this is the first penalty I've gotten already. Or so far. I feel like I should have gotten a few. Game's kind of being lenient with me. What are you doing, Nick? I'm trying, that's what I'm doing. I guess he didn't, but like, why would you take me that far saying of course he did? I have to pick somebody. Why would they let me go as far as choosing evidence for Mo? Is it Mo? I saved, so like, I'm gonna keep trying. Let me just say, of course he didn't. Let me see where that gets me. Now then, this must be when we get to hear the name of the mystery accomplice. Oh, okay. Not this time, Von Karma. Wh what? Mm-mm. You're not going to sucker me into this one. What are you babbling about, Mr. Wright? There was no accomplice. Acro planned and committed this murder all by himself. Okay, I'll, I'm... Phoenix, I'm running with you. Let's go. Order. What the... What are you getting at? Way to keep them on their toes, Nick. 
and I'm going to have to prove how it all fits together. Shit. I have to show how Acro murdered Russell Berry. Can you do it, Nick? Can you really do that? I know what I can't do. I can't stop now. If I stop attacking, I'm doomed. All right, then let's do it. L let's, as in she's gonna help me. You never help me in the courtroom, Maya. You only help me when Mia comes and takes over your body. And in that case, that's just the physical you. Mr. Phoenix Wright, if this witness is the killer, then his eyewitness account is all lies, right? Hmm. I just, I just had a quick thought, sorry. Hmm. Mr. Wright, I'd like you to clear something up for me. When the crime was committed, exactly where was Mr. Dingling? Raul. In his room? He was obviously here the entire time. That's... Acro's room. Pretty simple, eh? Acro wasn't able to leave the lodging house by himself. In that case, there can only be one correct answer. Acro didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster. Facts. Okay, I guess. Yeah, like... The game is acting like I'm supposed to know this already. What? Are you nuts? What say you, Mr. Dingling? Birds. I choose- I plead the fifth. It's an interesting theory. Um, that's it? Considering that you- Considering what you propose, it is impossible. Yes, that's it. Hmm. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? As the witness has stated, your assertion is impossible. As he is in a wheelchair, there is no way he could go to the scene or be the killer. Hmm. You've got a point. It seems you've forgotten once again, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant was clearly spotted at the scene of the crime. That's true. That's just the bust, bro. That is the bust, bro. There are no footprints at the scene. I guarantee you, they dropped the bust and that's what killed the ringmaster. And then they hoisted it up with the, with the cables. That's what my thought was a second ago. Mo said that he'd never, Mo, huh? Mo said that he saw Max, didn't he? Yet float away with the wires, bro. Notice how there's no feet dangling. But Maya, it's still impossible for humans to fly. Do you mind if I ask a question, Mr. Wright? What is it? I understand some of your logic. However, how do you think that I killed him? If I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. Oh, shoot, that's right. Where would he have gotten the cloak from? Oh, okay. He could have stolen the bus. I don't know how he could have done that. Somebody would have saw that. He can't even leave the room. Oh, man. All right, hold on. Let's let's keep going. If I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. Hmm. How did he do it? That's the next course of this legal buffet. Be careful, Nick. If you mess up here... She's right. I can't mess up here. Gotta give this one some serious thought. I'm sure that Acro didn't kill- I'm sure that Acro killed the Ringmaster. Are you? Like, I- I mean, I- I can tell, like, you're on a roll right now, but... Even in my previous video, I said Acro did it, but at the beginning of this video, I thought it was Regina. And he did it while he was in his room, no doubt about it. Time to enlighten us as to how Mr. Dingling committed the crime. Bro, I can present evidence. Oh, wait, hold up. Maya, give me the rag with blood on it! Didn't Acro give that to us? Where is that? I don't have it. 
Bro, this has to be the weapon. Uh, okay. Okay, I, I, I'm for sure that's it. Okay, time to enlighten us as to how Mr. Dingling committed the crime. Save. Um... Okay. I'm going to present some evidence. So what did Mr. Dingling use to commit the crime of the murder? Uh, the... the bus, bro. What's that? A picture? It is indeed. The problem is with the item that's shown in the picture. The bust? Yes. Finally. We're here. Okay. They're, they're using my theory, so I gotta make sure that I'm right. It's quite a large bust. And because it is life-size, it, it is also very, very heavy. Heavy? Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. Especially if it was dropped from a third-story window. With great precision, I might add. Ah! Oh, birds flew away. See? This is how Acro was able to kill the Ringmaster. With the force of gravity and Maximilian Galactica's ample bust. <laughs> okay. Capcom got me saying some weird shit. Order, order. So, you're saying the bust fell onto the Ringmaster? A rather simple crime. Even if you were stuck in a wheelchair, it wouldn't be incredibly easy- it would be incredibly easy to commit- How could you possibly wheel a wheelchair with something so heavy? It's impossible! He's strong, look at his arms! Well, Acro is an Acromat. He should have more than enough upper body strength to carry something like the bus. Mr. Dingley, how do you respond to these charges? Well... Acro's at a loss for words. He should be. He knows that I'm getting close to the truth. Well, 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 Acro. You- Ow! I'd watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Wh what Your Honor, the physical health of the witness is material to this case. I demand that we get proper testimony from the witness himself. That's right. Her voice is kind of something like this. I would never be a good voice actor. It would always change every time. Hmm. Testimony, you say? Von Karma. She's just using this testimony as a ruse to stall for time. There was absolutely no need for such testimony. Ooh, this is heat. The defense has its version of the murder. The prosecution has the right to respond. Okay, never mind. Heat died down real quick. The defense's objection is overruled. Why can't he see things my way for once? Once in a while. Mr. Dingling, I'm sorry, but we need to testify about your physical condition. If you have any doubts about your ability to testify, we can request expert testimony. The witness will have no problems. However, let's all be respectful towards him. Thank you. Ugh. That woman will sink to any low to win a case. God damn, this is only the second testimony and I'm 40 minutes in. Acro's physical state. Okay. I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bust. I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat, and only my legs were injured. However, lifting the bust and looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bust on him, don't you think? See, nothing pointed out to me right there. Hmm. I have no doubts in regards to this witness's testimony. It was impossible for him to lift the bust and stick himself out far enough to look. Not to mention that he could not have known the location of the ringmaster's head. A single false step would have led to an even more severe injuries. Huh? That's what I was thinking. 
What is your opinion on the matter, Mr. Wright? Shit. I'd still like to proceed with my cross-examination. He's simply stalling. It's shameful, really. Ugh. I can't let her get to me. I've got to focus. Use my Ace Attorney powers. Suppose I could not- I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that box. Okay. Have you ever lifted up have huh? Have you ever lifted up the bust before? No. I've never actually lifted it up with my own two hands. But I should get to it, don't you think? I can't let money outdo outdo me on this. Money? That crazy monkey has lifted Max's bust before? <laughs> Dude, money is strong. Are you kidding me? I, like, when I mentioned earlier that Max couldn't have got the bust from the cafeteria, I had a thought like, eh, money could have. Nah, money can't lift that. He, what? Hmm. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Dingling. I had a strong upper body from working as an acrobat and when my legs were injured. So what have you been doing to keep in shape? Yeah, you look good. Well, honestly, I've given up on training. I don't have any plans to return to the trapeze or the tightrope. You don't say. <laughs> oh, that's rude. But, no offense, I'm not worried about losing to you in a race or anything. Neither am I, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I wouldn't lose either, Slowpoke. I, I mean, Nick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did the discussion turn to me all of a sudden? I suppose you could say that I'm stronger than the average bear. Okay. Well, if we're lifting the bus and looking out the window, it would have been impossible. Okay. I gotta hold back my comments. It throws me off. And why is that? Because if I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. I still haven't gotten much feeling back in my legs yet. Hmm. So you couldn't have thrown that bust out the window? Out the window. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. How long do you think your recovery will take? Hmm. You have to remember that my nerves were severely damaged. I'm currently undergoing some extremely intensive rehabilitation but it's still going to take a while before I'm back to 100%. Let me remind you of another very important point. If the witness was carrying the bust, he would not be able to see out the b out, bleh, out below the out below the window. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Why do you say it would be impossible? Allow me to explain. You accept that if I was carrying the bus, I couldn't see out below the window. You accept that if I was carrying the bus, I couldn't. Thus, there is no way that I would have known the location of the ringmaster's head. <sighs> well, I suppose you've got a point. Hey, Nick! Huh? What if you turned things around? Maybe if you think of it sort of like this. If he knew the location of the ringmaster's head, then he could drop the bus. So basically, think the opposite. He didn't know where the ringmaster was, so he couldn't have dropped it. If he did know where, he could have dropped it. Okay. That does make sense. If only I could prove somehow. That acro knew the location of the ringmaster's head without looking down. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. But that, like, the, the, the Lodging House Plaza is a huge, like, area. He can't just toss it out the window and hopes he hit the ringmaster. Okay, wait. Mmm. 
And plus, there's nowhere to throw it out. If you throw it out, it's going to land in the lodging house plaza. Ugh, okay. Birds. I think I've already explained things sufficiently. So it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bust on him, don't you think? Uh, 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 mm hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna go for it. Aw. This evidence clearly reveals the constitution. Uh, how exactly are they, uh, connected? They're not. <laughs> just kidding. If all you had to do was drop it, then it wouldn't have been a problem at all. If all I had to do was drop it. You're right. I could have done that. However, there is no way that I could land a direct hit on the ringmaster's head. Hmm. So that kind of makes your theory a bit pointless, doesn't it, Mr. Wright? Acro is strong enough to lift up the bus. The main problem is how he could have aimed for the ringmaster's head. Hmm. I wonder if he used some kind of tool to aim for the ringmaster. That's the ticket, Nick. Show them what you've got. I have to be careful. I have to find something that fits perfectly with the case. Hmm. I don't remember us finding any sort of tool. But maybe we overlooked something. Quick theory, quick theory. Hold up. Quick theory. The victim was hunched over this 20 pound box. It boasts a small but strong lock. Acro had this and the bust in his room. This dude, like, just, like, had the box, right? Uh, since he can't exactly uh, aim, he just kind of held it out his window, right? And dropped it. And it landed, right? So the ringmaster is just somewhere in the lodging house. That drops, he walks over and is like, huh? So he stands over it. Agro waits a little bit, holds out the bust, and drops it the exact same spot. Right? So it hits what's-his-face on the head. I. Th but how exactly do I prove that? And why exactly was a small seasoning bottle found in the box? To prove that... Like... Someone went to the cafeteria? Okay, wait. Okay, I, I think my... Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bust on him. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to press, sorry. Ooh. Acro? You didn't really need to lean out the window, did you? What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? You already knew ahead of time where the ringmaster's head was going to be. Quite precisely, I may add. I got big brain. Your silly hinting at things is pointless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Enough stalling. How about you show us some evidence? She's she's doing the same thing Edgeworth used to do. Bang. Bang, bang. Okay. But, but I did such a good job hinting. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry up and explain things, Mr. Wright. Maybe you should take a look at this. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Ba -dum. Bum, ba -da -da -da. The key point here is the wooden box. The same wooden box that the victim was found hunched over. The same uh, the hunched over? The same. The question is, who placed the wooden box here? Who? When Ben and company saw the ringmaster, they didn't see him holding the box. But on Which means... that this wooden box was already placed at the scene of the crime. 
I have to admit that your theory makes a lot of sense. The moment that the bust came falling down was exactly the same moment that the ringmaster lifted up this wooden box. Oh, and I guess he heard it? <gasps> That's why the pepper shaker was in there! No way! Which means that the answer to all of these questions is now crystal clear. You... you mean... If the bus were to fall upon the point marked out by the wooden box, there would be no way that it could miss the head of the victim. <laughs> no! Akro's like, shit. Order, order, order. This is unbelievable. Finally, some of these loose ends are starting to tie themselves up. Now, I just gotta keep going. There's only one way to go from here. Forward! So the next question I have is, who placed that wooden box at the scene? Uh, I don't think so. He can't leave his house. Or he can't leave the room by himself. It was Mr. Dingling, of course. He connected it to a rope, and then all he had to do was lower it down. Okay, I guess he did. Ow! Allow me to whip some sense into you. Uh, Mr. Phoenix, right? Uh, uh, uh. The ringmaster's head could have been anywhere when he lifted that box. That's why the box was so specially made. S -s specially made? Indeed. It had the most peculiar feature. Uh, yeah, the contents of the box. Do you recall what was inside the wooden box? There was only a small bottle of pepper, wasn't there? Get on with it. Well... What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Bang bang? What are you talking about? I don't see any relationship between the location of the head and the... And the of its... of his head and the box's cut. What are you talking about? No, Nick, you didn't think enough. What do you mean? <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you still maintain that the box had some sort of special feature? Indeed, it had the most peculiar feature. What? The victim was hunched over this 20 pound box. Okay, I guess let's wait. The box has a remarkable weight. Wait? According to the court record, it weighs 20 pounds. Just to lift up this wooden box wouldn't- would have required- Oh, I see. One would have to squat down, then lift it up with their- with their body, wouldn't you say? That's exactly what I was trying to point out. The box is also very large. The box also has carrying handles on either side, doesn't it? I didn't think this had to be explained, but okay. That is correct. To lift up the to lift up the box, you'd have to squat down. Ringmaster got cake, which means that no matter who you are, your head would be in approximately the same place. Fool. Ah. Birds. Does he even bother to listen to me anymore? I've heard what you've had to say. <laughs> I must admit, I'm shocked at your imaginations, at, um, at, um, at your imagina imaginative skills. God, that was a hard word to say. You, you, did you do it? Did you place this wooden box in the plaza? Mr. Wright may have a vivid imagination, but I could never have done what he's proposing. What? Mr. Wright, do you recall the original location of Max's bust? Yeah, it was in the cafeteria. Of course I remember. It was on top of the table in the cafeteria. Hmm. Then what happened to it? I'd like you to remember one important fact, Mr. Wright. I could not have- I could not possibly leave the lodging house by myself. Ah! That means- You understand what I mean. Don't you? I may very well have been able to drop the bust from my room. However, how would I have... How would I have... 
gotten the bust from the cafeteria to my room. Earlier, you straight up admitted that money has lifted the bust before. That dude went to the cafeteria, picked that thing up, and like, took it to you. Where all of his other stuff is. You care for him as well. Come on now. You see, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Explain that. Don't forget, you said there was no accomplice. Ugh. Tell us exactly how the witness would have carried the bust from the cafeteria. Yep, we definitely have a problem here. This is no place to get perplexed. I've got to get my wits about me and prove how things happen once and for all. Closing argument? Danganronpa? Let's hear your explanation. How did the witness get the bust from the cafeteria back to his room? Ugh. A monkey? Everybody know- everyone knows money. He loves shiny objects of any size. Oh, like when he stole the ventriloquist's ring. So, are you saying the witness had a monkey steal the bust? Of course he didn't order the monkey to steal it. The monkey stole it on his own, and then brought it back home. Hmm. Home? Money lives in Acro's room. Acro's room! But the bust was bronze, wasn't it? Bronze isn't all that shiny. Maybe you should put the whip down sometimes and read the court record. My, those are some very nice cards he's holding. Oh, see, unspoken like things. I did not notice the little shiny graphics on those cards. Money like shiny objects. Yes, and they were made of platinum, which is very shiny. I didn't know that. <laughs> Money is a strong monkey, right? It'd be easy for him to bring the bust back to your room. Hmm. If he wasn't able to handle that himself, I'd be on the market for a new roommate. Order, order. I said order! Miss Von Karma! Where is the bust in a question in question at this moment? Um, um, um... I, um, I don't know. We're searching for it as we speak. Mm. This is a rather strange turn of events. But let's say that the monkey had not stolen the bust, had not stolen the bust. What would have happened then? Well, in that event, something else would have been used as the murder weapon. Hmm. Wait. Then you mean this bust was the murder weapon purely by accident? Ooh. Which means he kind of made it up as he went. Dang, Acro's smart? It's possible. Maybe Acro saw Money's mountain of stolen goods and thought to use one of them. Dang, this- I'm scared of Acro, dude. Anyways, I think we've more than proven one critical fact. Namely, that it was entirely possible that Acro was the murderer. Moron. Moron? Mr. Wright's argument was so circular, I'm still a bit dizzy. However, his argument does hold water. There's no denying that. Ow! Don't seem so flamboozled, especially by this fraud of an attorney. Fraud? Do you not see my badge? You've forgotten the absolute most important thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And what is that? You should know. You forgot that your fraud of magical client was spotted at the scene of the crime. Ah! She's right. There is no reason to doubt the clown's testimony. That's true. How do you respond to that, Mr. Wright? Nick, don't let her beat you now. I won't. This is my chance to turn this trial around. When the murder when the murder occurred, 
there were only two there were two people at the scene of the crime it, it, the two people is not highlighted for nothing i had this theory since like the previous video one was the victim russell barry and the other was the murderer himself answer this and only this mr phoenix Wright. who was the murderer the clown saw He saw Max's b- I asked, who was the other person Mo saw on the scene? That evidence has nothing to do with the question. Objection. Au contraire, mon frère. It does indeed have something to do with the question. Mo said that he saw Max's silhouette. But he did not actually see the man himself. It wasn't a human being he saw. Da -da -da -da. This is he. H uh, how was that possible? It's simple, really. What Mo actually saw that night was Max's bust. What are you talking about? Have you tried using your brain at all in this case, big brain? The silhouette he saw was wearing a cloak. There's no reason why you couldn't attach a cloak to the bust. It would be easy to hang one off the cards in this bust's hands. Idiot. Who in their right mind would put a cloak on a bust? It doesn't matter who put it on the bust. Just wait a minute now. Mr. Wright, who put the cloak on the bust? That question is of the utmost importance to this case. Don't you agree? Don't. He caught me. So let's have it, Mr. Wright. Who put the cloak on the bust? Bro. 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 Hmm. I wonder, Mr. Phoenix. I was wrong? Whoa. Maybe it was Mo. No, there's no footprints. Bro. Was it the ringmaster? Max said he left his cloak in the ringmaster's office. But he never said that he took it. Yeah, didn't the defendant didn't the defendant wear the cloak the entire time he was at practice? Uh So then how did this person get a hold of the cloak? Well, furthermore, how would this person have gotten the cloak onto the bust, I wonder? Because this person was not spotted at the scene. I'm... I'm sorry. Oh my god. I am very close to dying. When she's so nice about telling me I'm wrong, it hurts even more. I don't mind it though, I'll be honest. <laughs> Ow! The famous Von Karma... The famous Von Karma carrot and whip approach. Oh my gosh, so let's have it, Mr. Wright. Who put the cloak on the bus? Dude, I think it was the Rickmaster! Uh... Fool. Him? You are saying that it was the victim himself, Russell Berry. That's what I'm saying. He... I mean... The victim... The victim himself placed the cloak on the bust? Placed the cloak isn't really the right way of putting it. Then what would be the right way of putting it, Mr. Wright? Explain yourself. Nick, do you really have a handle on all of this? No. I'm fine, Maya. I'm finally putting all the pieces together. There's really only one picture I can paint anyways. All right. So you want to know what really happened that night? Let's step back in time. Life is strange. Acro used a rope to lower the... This music is nutty. Acro used a rope, used a rope to lower the wooden box onto the scene. Then, he attached that rope to the bus, and dangled the bus out of his bedroom window, directly above the wooden box. Duh. At the same time, the ringmaster told Max to wait in his room and went to the scene. Of course, at the time, the ringmaster was wearing Max's costume. I did not think we actually specified that. We did. 
Perhaps he didn't want anyone to recognize him that night. But just as he feared, he was spotted at the entrance of the lodging house. By none other than a ventriloquist and his puppet, Ben and Trillo. When the ringmaster arrived at the scene, he bent over to lift the wooden box. <laughs> and that's when Agro took his chance and released the rope. Now this is when the magic happens. At the very instant that the bust hit the victim... <laughs> I kinda agree with her right now, bro. Are you serious? That's a huge accusation, Mr. Wright. Can you back it up? Can you back it up? Good God. As much as you try, as much as you scheme, this just isn't true. It can't be. It's still a little early to be getting so upset, Miss Von Karma. The circus isn't over yet. What? The impact of the bust on the victim threw the cloak up, which snagged onto the bust. That impact also caused the sound a certain witness heard, prompting him to take a look. Mo. That witness was of course Lawrence Mo Curls, the clown. When Mo looked out his window, the cloak had already snagged onto the bust. Now, having completed the crime, Akro naturally went about pulling up the murder weapon. Of course, he had no idea that Mo saw the bust being raised with the cloak dangling on it. Primarily because in his wheelchair he couldn't see out of his window. So he just kept pulling the bust up. And he floated away. Ooh. And that is how the magical murder disappearing into the sky came to be. Bum bum bum. So you see, the only person who could have pulled this off is the one person who was able to drop the murder weapon from above the crime scene. Akro, it could only have been you. Birds. Birds, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Birds. Akro's been playing mind games with all of us. He really has. Like I mentioned earlier, that dude is scaring me by how silent he's being. He sure has. But he has come to the end of his rope now. But he has come to the end of his rope now. So? What now? You've graced us with a rather long-winded tale. But do you have any evidence to prove that your fairy tale is true? Evidence? In this court, only two things matter. The power of evidence, and the power of my whip. Don't forget the power of my gavel as well. Mr. Wright, the prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? Nick, they say they want evidence. I just explained how there can only be one possible murder method. But there is still something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. Is there... I really- I don't have it. Do I? Something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. Unusual? Contradiction, actually. Okay then. Use that and get out of this- get out of this jam. Jam just made me think of like... Jam, as in jam you spread on bread and make a sandwich with? Now I'm hungry. <laughs> That's enough talking amongst yourselves. Proceed, Mr. Wright. Present some evidence to the court that backs your claims. I want hard proof that you have unraveled the trick. 
to this magic case. have unraveled the trick to this magic case. Something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. A contradiction, actually. Hard proof that you've unraveled the trick. Big brain power, activate! Mo claims that he saw Max. Right? He saw the hat and the cloak. And he just saw him fly away. Right? What else did he see? What else did he see? Bro. Hold up. I just wait when was the hat recovered shouldn't the hat be like in front of Barry Russell even yeah I, okay that must be wrong did I save uh -huh. God dang it, dude. He said try again. Something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. Unusual? A contradiction, actually. Okay then, use that and get out. That's enough talking amongst yourselves. Proceed, Mr. Wright. Present some evidence to the court that backs your claims. I want hard proof that you have unraveled the trick. But, um... Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, I presented this. Have have I presented this yet? I was wrong. Uh what could it be? It might be the hat, again. It's not in the picture. And Mo claims he didn't see it. It would have been right there, right? No. Yeah, okay. That, I, I mentioned that, I, like, I kept looking at the picture, and I kept thinking back to that animation of... The cloak floating onto um what's what's his face? Or the bus? That means the hat would have been there. Ooh, that's right. Okay, okay. The problem is Max's three symbols. You know, the silk hat, the cloak, and the white roses. Those symbols were a problem numerous times during yesterday's proceedings. Yesterday, there were two contradictions in Moe's testimony. The silk hat was one. The white roses were another, were the other. But the theory I just presented explains all of these contradictions. You fool. Do you ever shut up? Max's silk hat was found at the scene of the crime. However, remember what Moe said yesterday. I don't. He testified that the criminal he saw fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. Yeah, and they even keep showing this. There's only one explanation for that. The silk hat 
that Mo saw was actually the busts. The busts. Makes sense. If you look at it that way, that he did see the silk hat. Well, sort of. Fine. You've got one. But what about the other contradiction? The other contradiction? Remember what that ventriloquist said in court. He said that he witnessed white roses on Max's chest that night. Ooh. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. The clown said that there were no white roses. I'd like to see you try and explain that one away. Can you do it, Nick? <laughs> Of course, I can explain all of it. What was that? Please recall the instant when the cloak snagged onto the bus. If the cloak snagged onto the bus, what happened to the roses? Oh, they were either on the wrong side or inside. Yeah, they wouldn't be visible. Okay. This game is very, like... Very, um... This is the word I'm looking for. Assuming. You have to think very... Broadly. Like, I mean, they showed us that before, so they can pull that- what, what we showed you, you just didn't notice. You know, type thing that all movies and TV shows do. Okay, let's keep going. It means that the white roses would end up on the back of the bust. <laughs> Which explains why Mo didn't see them. The white roses were not visible because they were on the back side of the bust. Yes. Order. Is this really it? This is quite the shocking state of affairs. Mr. Wright's theory still sounds a bit absurd to me. However, let's just keep going down this road for a while and see where it leads. Let's do this, Nick. Then maybe Von Karma will finally throw in the towel. How long is this trial? I just gave a sound explanation as to why Acro is the murderer. Can you not convict him? Well, so much for that theory. Mr. Wright, do you mind? What is it? You took the time to research our circus, didn't you? Well, yes, I did. Is there something making... Is there something making you think that I didn't... Is there something making you think that I didn't? That was weird to say. If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Um, why is that? Motive. This witness feels an incredible debt of gratitude towards the ringmaster. Anyone with any relation to the circus is well aware of this. Was Acro trying to kill the ringmaster? Or was he trying to kill somebody else? What does that note say? You haven't forgotten what happened six months ago, have you? I have conclusive evidence of what took place. I think this dude was trying to kill Regina. Okay. Okay. I think Acro was originally trying to kill Regina. I'm not gonna say anything more upon it, but let's just keep going. Anyone with relation to the circus is well aware of this. <sighs> Thus, there is absolutely no way someone like this would kill the ringmaster. Facts, right. Which means it didn't mean to kill the ringmaster. It just happened. A lot of this is just happenstance. Your Honor, I'd like you to hear Acro's story. Learn about his relationship with the ringmaster and his life up until now. What? What do we do? There's no doubting that Acro deeply respected the ringmaster. Acro's motive. Hmm. It seems that this case isn't over yet. Very well. However, I feel this is a good place to take a break. Okay, there is a part two. 
I will listen to the rest of Mr. Dingling's testimony after recess. This court will now take a 10 minute recess. Holy shit. Okay. I think I, th I think I actually want to continue, but I don't know if I have the energy. Like, I feel good now, but I don't know if I'll be able to take another hour and a half of this. I'll wait until tomorrow. I think Acro meant to kill Regina instead of the Ringmaster. It just so happens that the Ringmaster happened to go there instead. Acro's just trying to, like, not get caught at this point. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's my theory. I think Acro meant to kill Regina, instead he accidentally killed the Ringmaster, and now he feels like shit. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how this ends. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, 4-2 is going to be the end. Along with this, you see what else I'm playing. If you want to see any of that stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel here on YouTube or following me over at Twitch with the link in the description. If you like this Ace Attorney video, please consider checking out my other Ace Attorney videos. Leave a like if you liked it, comment about what you think of the game if you played it, of just my gameplay, my voices, you know, my voice work. Thank you for watching, have a good day, and wash your hands.